created one of the most successful reentry programs, Hope for Prisoners in Las Vegas. I was glad to speak there earlier this year. Fox 5 was there too, the only local station in the White House press pool, thanks to John Ponder. Tonight, Ponder was featured at the Republican National Convention. At Dead Metro Police Headquarters in February. The president was there for John Ponder's nonprofit organization, Hope for Prisoners Graduation so Ceremony. It was not many years ago when I was behind 50 foot walls in a maximum security United States federal penitentiary. Ponder founded Hope for Prisoners 11 years ago. He himself is a three time convicted felon who served five years in a federal prison. Back in February, the president pondered a pardon. I shouldn't tell you this. Should I tell it to you now or should we wait? So they're all saying he's done so well. He saved so many lives. He's created uh, happiness in so many families. Sir, would you consider John Ponder for a full pardon? And I love doing it. I love doing it. And we are, we are giving him absolute consideration. And I have a feeling He's going to get that full pardon. On day two of the Republican National Convention. As I grant John, I'm not sure you know this, a full pardon. Okay. I think I'll give it to Jamie. What do you think? <laughs> That's Ponder's wife. The man behind her, Richard Beasley, a retired FBI agent. I arrested John Ponder. Fox 5 sat down with both of them in February. You would never think that... Um, as a young agent, you would be friends with anybody that you sent to prison. John changed in prison and called Richard after he got out. From that day forward, uh, you know, we just had, the, you know, this incredible relationship got built up. And I have to tell you that he is one of my best friends to this day. Their friendship and Ponder's blueprint for transitioning former prisoners back into society, into the workforce, landed them at the White House once again. You have done incredible work. Thank you, sir. And all of Las Vegas and all of Nevada and all of every place in this country is very proud of you. Tonight, we also talked to his attorney. A lot of people just are looking for that redemption and that feeling of forgiveness um, for righting the past wrongs and to be able to move forward in your life freely with, um, you know, not having that heavy heart and that burden that is on you of what you've done in your past that weighs on you. And that for that, I think that is the biggest relief from John is getting that freedom from what, um, you know, his past actions.